Hey, my beautiful peeps, just back here to give you guys a little update. So, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> my husband and I tried for two months back to back, naturally, with regular fertility, blend vitamins, and all that fun stuff. So, fortunately, I'm not pregnant, and um, so that means that we will be doing IUI. I uh, called my fertility doctor and discussed with her the procedure and everything like that, and um, we're gonna be doing IUI this month, which is very exciting. Um, we're gonna be doing it back to back, you know, God forbid it doesn't work the first time. Uh, one big snag though, um, found out that the medication, I'm gonna be doing injectables again, that medication is super expensive, holy moly. Um, with my insurance and everything like that, I hit my deductible, but now I have this thing, <clears throat> co-insurance, where out of pocket, it's like a certain amount that I have to hit before they cover it. So I have to do 50% of any medication out of pocket. So the medication came about like 6,000 something, and my husband and I um, have to pay $2,098 out of pocket. Um, put it on the credit card because hey I want a baby and uh, yeah you know what I mean there's nothing else I can do I can do it without I without medication and all that stuff but I want to try to give it my all with this I'm gonna do medication this cycle and if God forbid it doesn't work next cycle I'll try a Clomid or something cheaper and then we'll see what you know what we can do from there um, praying that it works I'm trying to remain positive as hell I got, um, I ordered on Amazon a Think Positive with a positive pregnancy test socks that I'm going to wear. I got a baby dust shirt I'm going to wear. Um, I'm just trying to remain super positive that it will work. And um, if it doesn't, honestly, that's just how life goes and I'm not going to be negative anymore. I've been so much better with things when they don't work out in my way. And I think that's because I have more faith, you know. Everything happens for a reason, it really does, and I'm just going to continue to believe that. So with that being said, um, I'm just waiting for my period to come down because, as you know, with progesterone, it delays your period. So I stopped it on Thursday because I was testing, and I knew that I wasn't pregnant by then. I didn't get any positives. I didn't get a positive even on Saturday. That was the day of my period. So I stopped it on Thursday so I can give my body some time to get off of it. I feel like my period's gonna be coming soon though, so that's good. And then on day three, I uh, have my ultrasound and they, the fertility doctor tells me if I start the medication or not that night. So yeah, um, it's pretty exciting. Uh, back to injectables, back to all that fun stuff. And yeah, I really, really, really pray that this works out, that this is our chance to become a parent, you know what I mean? Like become parents. I want this to work so badly and I have a feeling that it will and if it doesn't we'll keep trying different ways I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know what's up I wish it didn't cost so much money but I did call the insurance and they said that the IUI is covered because we hit our deductible and there's no out-of-pocket cost for that so at least that's good and um, yeah pray for me and I'll keep praying for you guys baby dust and sticky dust to everyone who is pregnant. Let's do this.